You're looking good too today, Jesse. Thanks. I'm still. I'm losing. I'm losing weight. I needed to write it in the spreadsheet, but I'm at like three seventeen point two. So you've lost more. Yeah. So I'm losing more and more, but I'm just like ugh right now. What, what is the? So, what, why do you think the reason is? I really miss just snacking on stuff and it not being a meal. Like I really miss just going out there, grabbing something, and being like knowing that it's okay. I'm too like not knowledgeable about what I can eat right now that it's like driving me crazy. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if I get it. Like I I was eating like pistachios yesterday, and then I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'm not allowed to eat. Like am I allowed to eat pistachios? Because those are so much better than the macadamias, bro. You could Way switch. Better. You can switch them as long as you keep to the same uh, calories. I, I'm only allowed that much though. Like I can't, like throughout the day, just be like, eat a couple of them. The problem is no, nuts. Like that's has, that's uh, my main thing. The the thing is nuts have an extreme amount of calories, so that would stop the deficit and you wouldn't lose weight. Yeah, because like right now I think like like I'm <clears throat> I'm trying to, but I'm somehow. What's crazy is everyone thought it wasn't going to be enough calories, but I'm actually finding it really hard to eat all my calories throughout the day yeah. as meals. But like, you know, if I, if there was like any snack alternatives, like in some places, like that we could find to put that in would like help so much. Like what <laughs> though? Like what? What could I eat? Because I actually I don't know. Because I know there's like cheese snacks, but I, I, you have no cheese on my diet. I'm not eating like a bunch of fat, so I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. Um, I'm just thinking uh, a little bit what we could have done. If you have problems eating the full meals, we could have made the meals a little bit smaller and added in something in between them. Yeah, the meals are big. If you think the meals are too. always actually huge, like, and I'm actually always surprised too, like, how much food there is. But it's yeah. so, like I'll eat it and I'll be good, but within it, I get hungry within an hour, and I don't know if it's just me being bored or what. No, it's because I'm, they, I'm they, getting used to it every day. Yeah, because it isn't that much calories in each meal. But um, we need to make sure that you're continuing. That's goal number one, and that you're losing I'm, weight. I'm, so, so those two goals—that's main goals, right? You agree? Yeah, I'm losing weight. I'm still continuing. I'm just like, but is like there... the past couple of days, I'm just like. Damn. Is there something that there, there's some um, you can have zero calorie popsicle or those ice cream in a way? Have you tried them before? Like, am I am I allowed to fuck with anything that's like zero calorie? Like in yes. general? Like, yes. Like, oh. Everything. I didn't know that. No, that. Well, I didn't know I could do that. There actually is a like my sister just says I have to be careful because she doesn't know either. No, but uh, so I. Yeah. I can tell you the general rule is let, let's say you have nuts you have like a handful of nuts now handful of nuts then uh, in between it would make you stop losing weight because that would add in calories all the time and uh, it would be too much after a while like nuts is some of the it isn't bad food it's just so much calories so it wouldn't be filling for you and it would uh, put you in a calorie surplus instead of deficit and that's what we don't want i'm not saying that we couldn't increase your calories a little bit because we might might need to do that because we just tested two four it might be closer to two eight that we should put you on because uh, i like i i still like by the time i get to the fourth meal yeah. at the end of the day like, I feel full. I'm like, oh, God, I can't believe I'm about to eat a full meal. But during the day, like, you know, after I do the walk, my breakfast, my lunch, yeah. those first three meals, like, all in between it, it's really rough for me. Because I'm really, like, I'm just used to snacking throughout the day, and it's just yeah. hard to not do that. We could also change more of the rice with potatoes because it's more filling in the beginning of the day. If you want to do that, try out that because it's you. Yeah, you I probably have noticed that it's more. It's the, the meal. The last meal is bigger when it comes to volume, yeah. just because the potatoes is there instead of the rice. That's really a small portion. Yeah, like I like you have the macadamia nuts like towards the end of the day. Yeah, and like. I find myself wanting those in the beginning of the day a lot more. Like, I, like, crave them. And then by the time I get to the night, I'm like, dude, I really don't want to eat this. No. But then I end up eating it. 
but I'm like, dude, I'm so full at the end of the day. But then that it's just probably weird. helps it's you like sleep. It's like a weird balance for me. That probably just helps you sleep when you're feeling full at the end of the day instead of hungry. Well, it definitely does. I mean, I'm getting good sleep. Like, all around, everything is positive. Like, everything is good. It's more of just like a morale thing. I'm just having like a weird morale problem with it. Yeah, but you're not right used now. to this. You're not used to this. This no. is This is a big change in a short amount of time. So I, I 100% get what you're saying. Uh, can you just a question? Why not use a bit of caffeine to block the hunger issue? We have a little bit in the morning. He has a cup of coffee. First thing he's doing, he's drinking as much diet soda as he wants to, which has some I caffeine. Drink this shit all day. All day. Look at this. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm drinking a fuck a ton of diet soda. This is the only thing keeping me at bay. This is like my only dopamine right now in food is like, holy fuck, the diet soda. Like, no joke. Like, it actually is. When I was dieting, like, I, I was. Makes me happy. I, I had those one and a half liter bottles and I was drinking so much. I, like Mohaido saying, rookie numbers compared to Knut. I was drinking bottle after bottle of those big ones every day. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm craving it a lot more now than before. Like, I yeah. drink so much more diet soda than I drank before. I did that as well when you're starting to get hungry. Just that feeling of having that sweet taste, it, it's so mm -hmm. much better. Yeah, it is. And it, like, it just... I mean, I don't feel bad drinking. Like, I can drink the, the whole 20 ounce and I don't feel like I just fucked up my diet. Where if I go in there and I, if I eat, like, a granola bar or something, like, oh, God, why did I... Why did I just do that? Why? I mean, I haven't. I, I no, no. One, one day, like, very early on, I ate half of a granola bar, and I was like, I shouldn't eat this other half because I don't know if I'm allowed to. So I didn't. But it was just like when I was feeling bad, and you told me, like, if I feel like shit, it just means I'm hungry. Yeah. But uh, again, if you eat half a granola bar, it doesn't stop your weight loss. Like, you doing that one time, has, uh, it doesn't matter at all. The problem is if you're just okay now I'm fucked I'm so hungry I had this half granola bar let's fuck the rest of the diet we 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 just continue on going back to old habits that would have been bad no. having that half granola bar didn't affect your weight loss at all no but it, like it didn't satisfy my hunger like no. at all it was just flavor <laughs> yeah. like it literally was just flavor that's all it is like I'm just bored my my mouth is bored and I'm just craving this shit out of this flavor and that's all it is like yeah and somehow it's it's making me sad <laughs> the, which the, is crazy what is making you sad the like j just like because i was addicted to food so yeah. like i don't know like when you i'm just having like heavy withdrawals so it's yeah just like, oh he's a like... body feeling i'm just like Ugh, like my day just feels like shit now so i think this, that will get better after a while as well that that feeling and the the food addiction of course as you said when you have an addiction to something in the beginning it's the worst uh absolute worst time yeah it, energy levels like, though yeah right now low <laughs> and mm. i don't really know why i like I actually don't know why I ate my meal, I did the walk, and I still feel like, ugh, right now. But it might just be, like, I don't know. I had good sleep. Like, I can't really I can't really explain it. But it can be... It might just be a mental thing, though. Yeah, but if it, if it gets too bad, this is... Do you remember I said we're trying out 2,400 calories from the beginning? And we might have to increase it a little bit. So... I think we should try at that calorie level one more week. We can change it up a bit. If you want if you have want smaller meals, we can add in something in between to have to have that that's not a problem. But uh, um I, like I would like to try the potato thing just to try We can do that as the first thing. Oh. Let me message you something. I actually have to write you something too. Yeah. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, I want to show you that too because um just be i was actually looking at it and i was like maybe i could prep some of them with this and yeah we can know. we can look into that a guy said i can also ask about you if you want to 
try that too. It's up to you, but it could, but it's probably not Nor Norway in Norway. Ah, uh, oh, maybe. Uh, a guy said dopamine receptor reset takes some time. So if you're used to that dopamine push from food, it will oh. you will feel a bit down uh, in the beginning. It will take some time to normalize it and. Uh, we should try to push through. Find every good uh, solution just to motivate you to push through it. Yeah, I mean, it definitely was like, like if I ordered something back on the day, like, oh, like my, because this is how it would be. Like I would order food, and if I could, if I would eat a certain thing, that shit would make my day. Like no joke. Yeah. Like it actually would. So that, uh, I feel like I was using food like. As like a dopamine drug too. Yeah. Like I feel more and more, I'm starting to realize that's kind of I think what was happening. Yeah. Like, I really think that's what was happening to me. You are. You are. No, not for everyone, but it is for a lot of people. I don't want to compare you to anyone specific, but I've heard those exact words. The words I've heard being said is. Like, the time when they were eating is the only time they really felt good. Yeah, I mean, honestly. And then I immediately would regret it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. it would just, it would spike the shot. I'd be like, oh my god, let's go. Like, even waiting for it, and then it shows up. Like, for a fat boy, like, that shit's like Christmas morning. Waiting yeah. for the fucking Uber Eats coming up on the watching the gps like literally it was like for <laughs> christmas morning and i had that every day once or twice a day so i had christmas once or twice a day every day yeah. and now i don't have christmas anymore like you understand what i'm saying i have no christmas every day now now you have to wait that... to, to christmas eve <laughs> <laughs> yeah i cannot wait for you to give me that cheap meal i've been i have to keep rem like i cannot wait for you to tell me i can go hard one day I'm what, what day would be the best day to go harder? What New is? Year's. No, but before that. Uh, before New Year's? Yeah, not not a full day, but w is there any day you would like? Christmas. Yeah, I mean, like that is a, in yeah. a month. We're talking before that. Next week, for example, is there any specific day you would have a better meal? No. No. No, I'm a loser. I don't do anything. So it's just Christmas. I was just waiting for the holiday days or my birthday. Or New Year's, we have like a feast. We eat like a feast. But it's actually not like a... It's not like what you think. It's just Mediterranean food. Like, it's just like grape leaves and tabbouleh and hummus and stuff. But I eat a fuck ton. I eat a fuck ton of this on that day. I, I pretty much have like a Thanksgiving dinner of Mediterranean food and I sleep all day. That's normally my New Year's, and I look forward to it every New Year's. Yeah, I just but want one meal on that day. One meal that day. But let's say, <laughs> let's say that tomorrow you can have a cheat meal. But we're not talking a oh. full day of eating. We're talking about having one meal. You can have that. I would get buffalo chicken tenders and blue cheese and French fries. Yeah. But you can have that tomorrow. But just don't, don't have five thousand calories with food. Have a normal, m medium portion. Nothing more than that. I see your fucking smile. You're trying to laugh as well. The dopamine is rushing. No, because through. you have no clue how happy that makes me. I've been waiting for this day, and now my day is made. I've been waiting for you to let me have one fucking meal. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll send you what I eat, but it's, I mean, how many calories can I have in that meal? Can you at least just give me a limit so I don't fuck it up? <laughs> I'm having Christmas tomorrow. Christmas came early. <laughs> it's Christmas for you. Yeah, as they're saying, try to stay uh, below 1500 in that meal and take out one of the meals from the day. And keep it below 1,500 calories. Don't 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 add in sugar, coke, or anything. Just have the food in, okay? Okay. Yeah, I won't. I won't drink. I'm like the coke thing. I'm like soda in general. That's like a lifestyle thing. It, yeah. To me, I'm trying to just cut that out always because I don't think I need that at all. Like I got tricked into that shit. Like 
I get so many. I go on YouTube Shorts. I go on TikTok a lot now. I am yeah. fucking addicted now to that shit. Yeah. And um, I just keep get like anti soda shit all day, and they're just <sighs> all just so right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. You can't have. There's literally. There's no soda people that like they can argue it. Like it's just like everything they say. It's just so bad. Yeah, and I drank I that shit so much. Yeah, but you uh, you you don't need to drink any uh, sugar soda. It is not necessary. It's better without. It. No. What about um? Is chocolate milk ever a, a, like a cheat meal thing I can do or no? That's you can you you, you can things. have it to the cheat meal. It doesn't matter, but just count it in so it doesn't go overboard. Four four liters of uh, sugar <laughs> yeah. of chocolate no. milk with uh, five uh, Big Macs and. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna pull a Nikado avocado. If you know, no, I know we have been watching it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing a fucking mukbang tomorrow. I'm just I just wanna I'm gonna get a nice meal. A good I'm actually meal. looking forward to it so much. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to it so much. Yeah, if, oh, if you go God. for around that 1500 mark, you will have a decent sized meal. It's not starving or it isn't a small meal. <coughs> and I'll tell, <coughs> tell you, if you want something more filling, mm -hmm. you should have gone to a restaurant that makes a good meal of... It doesn't need to be the healthy stuff or anything, but a better restaurant makes a better meal with more quality ingredients. You don't need to do that. You can go, f for what I, I care, you can go to McDonald's and have three Big Macs and say, that's it. I don't care at all, <laughs> but I'm just giving you some... Uh, if you I, want to have something well, that is a bit more... feels a bit better afterwards. For the you know what I might order? Let me show you what I might order. Yeah. I might get this tomorrow. Because there's... This is uh, near my my house, and this is like this is wild though. But this is called a Gordo Burger. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they serve okay. those next to me. Hey, you, can, you can have that one. Looks way better than a McDonald's burger, at least. Oh yeah. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check how many calories. That actually might be more than. You know, no, I highly doubt it's more than 50. No, but it doesn't matter if it's... F oh! It's only 460. Yeah. Wait, what? Under 1500 for sure, yeah. Of course. Well, I'm saying only because I thought it would like be like 1,000. 400 isn't much. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, I might, I might actually do that tomorrow. I don't know why. Now I'm craving that. Well, you just you literally just brought Christmas earlier for me, and now I'm happy again. Yeah. So, so but what choose sucks, whatever though, you I, want. I hate I have to rely on that. But. It, it, choose whatever you want. You don't need to calculate that meal, but just around that mark. Don't have seven thousand calories in one meal. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't I, matter. I, I won't be doing none of that. No. No, so, so that's, I think that is good. Well, I'm excited. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, actually, yeah, there is. Yeah. You take knack, too. Yeah. yeah. Does knack smell like rotten eggs to you too? I, I need to see. Go smell the knack bottle. And we... What is up with that? I have it here on my desk. Yeah, go ahead, take a whiff, bro. What is going on? A little bit. What is up with that? <laughs> That's the worst one. I was like, okay, he's literally trying to poison me with this, but I'm taking it every day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. sulfur. But I had. Oh, uh, it actually is sulfur. Is it? Oh. Next stink, it's sulfur, a guy said. I don't know. I had knack in just powder without those capsules that I took Ugh. for a while, and it had this really, really sour taste. Like rancid. I'm not sure. Oh my god! Yeah, that that one. Everything else is like whatever. Only the only like the multi. I take like the multivitamin I take is like kind of like it, but that knack pill is so gross. You know what? Actually, this is what's so gross. I hate fish oil. 
Yeah. But I'm so happy that I take a fish oil pill now because when I burp, I don't taste the fucking knack and I take <laughs> taste fish oil. Like, my life right now is so weird because I'm like, all right, thank God I taste this other shitty thing and not this other shitty thing. <laughs> is fish oil then... that bad? <laughs> well, not anymore. Now I look forward to fish oil. Now, <laughs> knack has made me like fish oil. It's like, thank God I take this. <laughs> Because if I was burping and I was tasting a knack, I would... Oh, my God. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> but I I have never tasted anything from this. Really? Yeah, I can't, I can't remember that it's anything bad. Well, when you're sitting there with the water and... Then, yeah. I don't know, I suck at swallowing it. I always go have like a second where I'm struggling. Like, oh, God. I just I... sit there for a second. And I start fucking panicking, and I have to drink this stinky rotten egg pill. <laughs> all right. I, I don't. I can. I can. I take all my pills for the day in one go, and just and all of them down. Wait, really? I do them one at a time. Should I do everything at no, you once? You can. You can do whatever you like. Wait, how do you? Wait, really though? How, how do you do it though? You just drink it like you're. Like, how the hell do you do that? Because I might actually do that. Look here, I'll, I'll show you because I haven't taken mine today. I'm a bit, been a bit slow day. I can show you. I just need one of all. But I need to get some soda, some Julebrus Christmas soda. You should have tasted that. Do you know what? I have an idea of starting when I move to the States. Just swallow it, that's better. I will start importing Norwegian Christmas soda to the US because I think that would be a big thing. Oh yeah, I want to try that. Oh, yeah, Wait, you, you have, have Christmas that. soda? We have Christmas soda. It's like a tradition in Norway. Everyone loves it. And they have different sodas in different areas. And people are like arguing what is the best. What? So, I want to try. Is yeah. it, it has no sugar in it either? You, you have no sugar and sugar uh, versions of them. Mm. So Wait, I want to try that. Yeah, it's just uh, that it's expensive to ship them to the States. Brummy, you can just Google it. There's a lot of benefits from that. Have you been reading about it, Jesse? In the beginning I did, and then now I'm just like... Yeah, it I just feel better, and I'm just trying not even... I'm just trying not to think about it. Hmm. I mean, because a lot of things are getting to me, right? Because it's like, this was so out of nowhere. It was like the day of I decided to do this. Yeah. And like, I don't know, there's a lot of pressure. There's a bunch of people also dieting and like, going hard and using this as inspiration and stuff so it's like it's not even just me doing my diet it's like i'm doing like more than that in a weird way so You're i'm trying not to focus on the small things yeah it doesn't matter either it's just a supplement yeah, yeah. like i know it's like i think the knack one is the amino acid one yeah yeah, it, it's and a, it like helps like with my skin as well or something like with stretch marks apparently it's an antioxidant so I have 13 pills. Wait, are you taking it right now? I can. Oh, oh let me see. I want to see how you do it. How I do it? The yes. technique? Oh. Yeah, because I, I would love to do that. The pills in the morning are rough. Okay, you just you just take them all. I'm going to work with all of them. And you swallow. What? Yeah. What did your mouth just taste like, though? Was things mm. starting to pop and go weird? They don't pop when you do it that fast. <clears throat> okay. You are a freak of just nature. Right <laughs> I'm going to try to do that tomorrow, but that was kind of nuts. I'm not going to lie. You are a freak of nature. Well, just, just try a few at a time. Don't, don't try all of them if you have. You know, I put some of my meals on Twitter, and there was like Diet Andes. Yeah. That were like, <clears throat> they, they're oh. so like they saw like my five pieces of bread, and they were yeah. like, yeah, I don't know, five pieces. Like, do you find it annoying too seeing everyone that like, it? If you just compare what I was eating before to what I'm eating right now. Yeah. It's like, it's so weird that we, you're trying to diet and make a big change and people are still putting on like their nerd glasses and they're like, well, technically, you actually want to put an extra egg, like, oh, two last yes. pieces. Like, Fuck you, you don't, 
No! <laughs> oh, you have All seen you got that was part. a photo! You have seen you that part the of the community right? now, Jesse. Just wait, how annoying. I was dieting for a bodybuilding show last year. And I, as I said, I had one of the most recognized bodybuilding coaches in the world. Like he has brought people up to high, high placings in bodybuilding. That's and, what I'm saying about you. <laughs> that's funny that you say that because that's no, what I'm he, saying. He, he is like, I'm, I'm not that, but I, I have done this for years. <laughs> I haven't brought up people to, to win the Mr. Olympia, but it, but it doesn't matter, right? And, and people were coming into chat. Uh, why are you doing this instead of that? And like, I'm following the diet, my coach that I paid because I paid him to do that. I, I paid exactly. him to follow his diet because he he will get me into the goal that I have as much as possible. Exactly. <laughs> it's like everyone keeps saying this, but it's just like I'm I'm literally just I'm following a diet. Yeah. And I'm eating this because I eat this later and I take this later. It's like this isn't like I just woke up and I want to eat fucking five slices of bread. But you could. Like... For, for just losing weight, you could have had just managed with weight loss with just eating and just making sure you don't get in too much calories. You could have done that as well. Would probably not be as beneficial because we're trying to keep you healthy. We're trying to get in what your body needs. But technically, you could have just stopped eating for a month as well. <laughs> you would have lost weight if that's yeah, the only we, goal. Yeah, we right? had that combo. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I technically could just starve and sit here like a fucking... <laughs> Like a bear in my bed and just wait for me to start going down in size. <laughs> yes, you just could. literally put me on a big scale with a bed and just start zero out the bed. Let me lay on it and just when I'm at 260, tell me to get the fuck off. Yeah, it, it would have worked as well. It would have worked it, <laughs> if you wouldn't die, of course. <laughs> Except drink water and I'd be good. Hunger strike, yeah. So, yeah, but like the, that five toast, right? So many people say it so much. But it goes in one second. I it's, eat them like tacos. That shit goes. I finish the toast before I finish the eggs every single time. Uh, and then it also feels like I actually ate something. And the, the, I actually look forward to those five slices of bread every day. Yeah. When I wake up, I'm like, holy fuck, I need that so bad. It like soaks up like something in my stomach. It, it makes my stomach feel good. It makes me feel like they, I don't have like acidity going on with the coffee, the black coffee that I took in the morning. Like, it saves my shit. It saves my day. Yeah. So good. And 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 then that's the perfect meal, right? For you, you get in healthy fat from egg. You get in different uh, uh, nutrients <coughs> from the eggs. You get in some carbs with some uh, fibers from those from that bread. You get in like the proteins from the egg whites. You get some, uh, even some blueberries. The blueberries. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, tastes good. Blueberries. And, uh, yeah, the blueberries is good for the end. It's nice. It, it, like, I never had blueberries before this, but um, they are so sour. They're like, I don't know if it's just I've been like away from sweets and stuff, but holy crap, blueberries are sour. Like, they remind me of like warheads. <laughs> like, they're that sour to me. They're incredible. Like, they're. I don't know. Like, I, I might just be a tolerance thing because I've just been away from sweets, but they just seem so sweet. I love them. Yeah. I actually, I'm gonna fuck with blueberries forever now. It's I've a, never fucked with them before. It's a good thing. So, so what? Who are they to complain, right? And you will see. There's thousands of, of opinions when it comes to dieting. You should do it this way. You should do it that way. You should fast for that many hours. You should oh, not eat any f uh, carbs at all. You should do this. You should do that. You have a balanced diet with a lot of different ingredients. You're, you're not cutting out any food groups. <sighs> so yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'm getting everything. I mean, <clears throat> like what? What else am I even? Like the white, the white rice. I love. I for one meal, like when you say potato, are you saying sweet potato? Or are you saying like an actual potato? Because I would love potato you and have, uh, eggs have... one morning. We, it doesn't matter what which what, which meal we're switching it up. Okay, because I, I love potato and eggs with the Cholula sauce and stuff. That'd be so good. Yeah, I'd love that. Th then we might have to cut the bread at that meal if you're doing it for the breakfast. 
But we could also switch up the white rice in one of those meals for... You can have steak and potatoes if you want to. For all Oh, meal. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. That sounds so good. Yeah. I would love that, like, because I have, like, my diet right now, but if you if there's any replacements, I'll just put it up next to it and, like, start having a menu. I could be like, oh, I could have... I can I can, I can just I can just write rice. on your diet beside the rice like either that amount of rice or that amount of potatoes and you can yes. choose yourself. Oh my god, I have a fire relit again. We need to do this actually more often, I think. We can do it. Cuz I try to procrastinate from these in a weird way. It's like I don't mean to, but it's like for some reason, I procrastinate, but these always help when we talk. It always yeah. makes me look forward to the diet more. That's good. So perfect. We can have it more often. Now I was in Denmark on Thursday for the for the WoW event, and then Friday was my daughter's birthday, and yesterday you was doing that tournament. So it was some days extra. That's why we did. Oh the god, that's, I'm also sad from that freaking tournament. I also <laughs> lost the tournament and at semis and got nothing. I, I thought I heard your voice on the I'm a cutie pie clip. Can that be correct? Where was there a clip? Yeah. On LSF. Oh, I didn't even see it. What happened? I was just him sitting in his chair after the tournament or something. I thought <laughs> I heard your voice in the background or something. So you played yeah, against that. Yeah, we played together, and you got th you got sure four Dyrus and cutie who are like X got ex MOBA, ex professional players, and then you have me. So it was just like being the shittiest player, it's tilting, and then also losing at semis is just also tilting. So yeah, yeah I was that's uh, that's the life of uh, gaming, isn't it? On uh, oh, tournaments. Yeah. Oh You yeah. have to be really sweaty to be on top. <laughs> we almost did it too though. We won the first game against like the best team. And we were like, oh my god, we're actually going to do it. And then they came back with like a cheese mechanic. Huh? And What is cheese mechanic? Yeah, lost. Like cheese, like they... It was a new game. It's Fangs, right? It's like this new... Uh, one of the League of Legends devs uh, is making a game or whatever. Yeah. And uh, wait, there was like this... There's like an ability in like this item that we didn't know about. And they pulled it out at the very end at semis. And it's like the reason they won. Okay. So, have you ever played Overwatch before? Just a little bit. I, I'm, See, I'm not good you at You know how it. there's like a payload in like that you're moving, like oh, that yeah. payload? Yeah. Imagine in the game, if you died on the payload, mm -hmm. the payload gets to move 20 feet for free. Mm. So, if you killed someone, and we didn't know about it, and they killed us, and they got like a, a win off of it, and it cheesed us. So. Okay. Yeah. So, I was very sad yesterday. <laughs> That's I why that. I didn't do the beating yesterday. Oh, it's okay to be mad in the meeting. You can just uh, get it out on my Twitch chat. I need some uh, shit talk. I do it all the time. That's why I'm never Your mad in real nice, life. Though. Yes, they're nice to, to you because you're a guest there. But to me, they're fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> they're calling you mauled. Yeah. They're... Mauled. They always do that. They're bald as well. <laughs> no, that, that's no, a, uh, I think it's good though to show that uh, like I'm not gonna try to fake it though. Like today is ass, and it doesn't really have to do with like the food. The food doesn't make me feel like ass, but I just miss the other shit. And, I, I totally no, get that. that. It's a, a big part. it is a big change. <laughs> yeah, it's it. <laughs> but I think I don't know. It's, it's different. Like I think, even like the the keto. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. If if you if we add in like between what, every seven to fourteen days days, we add in one cheat meal somewhere. What I, what do you think I about that? So you have something to look that. forward to. Would that you think yeah. that would make it easier? Yes, actually, it would. Because I feel like I'm working towards something. Because then you know, today, then you know, let's say, uh, oh, it's only five days left, then we'll have that good meal. Maybe it's three days left. Let's keep pushing a few more days, and then we get that one. 
Yeah, because I think that'd be good too, because then it gives me like a short term reward. And like I have the long term reward I'm working on, but yeah. you know, it's only going to be results, and results is omega slow. Like even though the amount of weight I've lost already, I can't, I don't notice it. I doubt if you can even notice it. It's like a pinch in the bucket, so. Well, what, what was but, the new way? So we have to put it into the thing right now. Uh, so. the, well, the, do you want me to give you the lowest? Because I, I scaled after the breakfast. But I'll tell you what yesterday's weight was. Yeah, was, we can, uh, we can three, put it in yesterday. Do 317.8. And yesterday was the... What date? The 3rd. 3rd? Uh, 3rd. 12, 20, 22. And it, how, how many pounds? 317.8. 317.8. I'll pull it up here so we have the stats. So, you have lost then since the 28th 2.2 pounds, 1 kilo, exactly. In how, in many, how many days? days has that, been? Uh, that is in uh, one week, and that's the perfect uh, weight loss. Hog. One I kilo hope it a week. Slow down. Is, one kilo a week is like you, you, we should just keep it to that, N not more. Yeah, because everything until before, like I, I have felt better too. Like even on the days that I don't. Like, even on this day where I feel like shit, I don't feel like shit. I'm just, it's like a different kind of feeling like shit. Like, before, my days that I would feel like shit are the days that I overate and I ate some shit and my whole, like, I'm fucked. Yeah. It ain't like that. Those are a different animal. Yeah. Those are totally different, but, yeah. I, I I'm think, excited. I, I think that is a good, good week, just so you know. That is, you should, uh, you should be proud. That is the perfect week. This thing. This was my. How many. How long have I been doing it? It's only been one week? And a few days. Or this. Well, that was since last weekend, and you started Friday, didn't you? Yeah, I started on that. Friday. And now it's. it's been... and, and now, so that, so that was. Wait. It's like. Oh, yeah, it's only a week and two days. Yeah. Week into this, and and that was one week in. No, one week since last, since the twenty eighth. Yeah, the first week I lost like I I was definitely gonna lose more weight on the first week. Yeah, but you lo like... if you, if you add in the first kilos that you lost the two first days, as well it's more. Because you started at really? you started at three twenty six, mm -hmm. and you lost the six pounds the first day. Or the first two days. Yeah, but that was probably like a... That was probably like a Big Mac and a 20-piece nugget sitting in the chamber or something. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> that is... That was probably you going from surplus to deficit. So you're emptying out a little bit. Of course, yes. I can't even remember, but I'm sure. I'm sure that 326, there was like, <laughs> there was a big ass meal on that. Side, though, I, <laughs> Two big the shits. The next day, I had a six pound shit or something. Uh, right, this, thank you for the gifted. Yeah, but um, how does your stomach feel on this food? Feels good. Um, after every meal. After every meal, I do shit because I just don't have a gallbladder, and that's just how I, my body operates. Yeah. But um, the mornings, well, let me think. The mornings hurt for because the eggs just hurt my stomach a little bit. Uh, but then it goes away. I go to the bathroom. I feel good. Um, then uh, usually I get like the starving kind of stomach feel while I'm waiting for the next meal. But I have a good mental with that. Like usually I'm like if I'm feeling that. Like, that means I'm losing weight. And then I eat the next meal. And usually I eat that meal really fast because I'm fucking starving. And then, But then that hurts my stomach. And then the third meal, I usually eat it slow and I'm fine. The end of the, the beginning of the day, my stomach hurts way more than the end of my day. Yeah, hurts like in 
pain or hurts like in hunger? Uh, pain, like pain and hunger, honestly. Like the eggs hurt my stomach, and uh, getting to the second and third meal, I'm just hungry. Just like empty stomach, stomach gurgling, you know, that type of shit. Well, so I'll just drink a shit ton of soda. If that gets too bad, we could also try to add in more vegetables to the meals. If that would help to fill up more, if you think that would help. That could also be done. There is multiple solutions before we start cranking up calories too much. Say that one more time. I read something in chat. And I see uh, yeah, I said Sorry. we we could let let's say if if you feel too much hunger, we can throw in more vegetables in all the meals. Maybe some fruit, just to not crank up the calories too much before. Uh, to see if that fills up more and it feels better if you want to try out that if it becomes a problem i mean i eat a lot of vegetables right now i feel like anyways i don't know like my sister usually throws in like more broccoli and stuff than even the amount that you put yeah she says it's fine it's fine i think i'm already eating a lot of that i'm, I'm just really sensitive to the eggs that, 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 if that becomes a problem as well, we might have to change that as well, if you think it becomes a problem. But it gives me so much energy. The eggs are just so OP, they give me so much energy. I mean, no, but they're not. Like, it, it's it, not it, like I'm, I'm, saying it, I'm not laying over here and I'm hurtling. It's just like, you know, I there's pain throughout the day, but... Like, or there's like pain in the morning, but it's not like anything crazy. It's just, I'm just egg sensitive. I've always been just egg sensitive, though. Yeah, as I'm saying, that's, that's that's you that have to tell me that I can eat this or I can't. That, that's up to you. Why? You, what, what do you think? I I think it's fine. I don't I don't think it's anything bad. I just just would. I'm just letting you know though. Like <clears throat> everything I eat, it's, uh, like there's not. Um, Cause I'm I'm a fat ass. Like just always comfortable or whatever. I guess. Yeah. But. I but mean, we... I don't have a great stomach anyways though, so I don't know. If it has to do with the food, yeah. I'm just kind of used to it. They're laughing because they played a re redeem of me saying I'm a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not a fat ass. I hate to break it to you. We have different standards in bodybuilding than normal people. <laughs> There's different different uh, scales of what is a fat ass or not. Sure, Jesse. He has. <laughs> Have you seen that emote? I... Which one? The last one they're posting to me all the time. <laughs> oh, wait, I, w I like that one. It's hilarious. Wait, what's that ass one? That is Wait actually that's actually mine. It is taken a it's from a stream they took a screenshot and an artist <laughs> used an you know those iPads that you can put a picture yeah. on and you can draw on it and that artist made that <laughs> into an emote. Traced your ass. Yeah, well it looks yeah. like a cartoon ass, but uh. <laughs> Kinid has a better ass than most women. This guy just wrote. Yeah, they always this guy say just that. wrote that in your chat. Yeah, they, okay. they, my chat is uh, a huge part of the LGBTQ community. Believe it or not. A lot of them are. And they uh they all like you. They sexualize. They're sitting... <laughs> <laughs> they just they like just sitting here watching you all day. <laughs> yeah. Wait, like they're kissing you. They're kissing each other as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's the memes. <laughs> I like the gauge with the Santa hat. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it is in this end. No, but um, it, it's good to hear. <laughs> oh, you can uh, you can uh, sneeze as much as you want. We don't care. It's it's good that it's going well. Uh, cheat meal tomorrow. I'm good. excited for it. I'm, I'll be honest, I've been thinking about that a little bit. 
Yeah, we need to make. Uh, I, I was, we, we might not need to make any notes, but we can do these calls a little bit more often. I'm sitting here. I'm in a lack of content. We can have the calls now and then. The people <laughs> <laughs> love to hear it. It doesn't well, matter. I was, like, I was also not doing the call because I was thinking like I should be live with it, but I could always just call you like this too if I'm not live. So You can decide if you want to be live or not. If you are live, do that. If not, we do it yeah. when you're not. I'm always live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You really are. You really are. Every time I rate you on Discord, you have the purple streaming thing. Oh wait, yes. it's so rare that you're not streaming. Then I'm mostly okay. sleeping. <laughs> or it's Wednesday. Just wake up stream. Yeah. I, I'm addicted. <laughs> I think I am. It was a good thing to be addicted to. It's your pretty good one. Oh, yeah, it's my job. Pretty good job to get addicted to. True. There's some people that are addicted to like waiting and stuff. Like serving. Yeah. And they love that and they go and they serve so much they're just addicted to it. <laughs> I used to I used to work at a restaurant and there's just people they they're just addicted to just trying to get the tips. And that's sorta of what streaming is if you think about it. True. <laughs> True. Quantum Not King, thank you for four months. Look, we got some tips there as well. This is this is good. Yeah. We get addicted. No time for family. Yeah, but I bring my family on stream Wednesday and yesterday I took no Friday I took the break for the birthday. We have some family time as well, but I should have used more time on that. I'm sure you're doing great. Yeah, but I, I'm not doing bad, but I, I should have spent some more time here and there. That that would be good. But in in the same time. We're building up a future, don't we? That is important as well. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Is your uh, daughter going to get into streaming? She would be a natural. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's a future. Yeah, it's, it's actually crazy. It's like, we're like the... There's actually going to be like streamers in the future, and that's like a job. Like, oh yeah, my dad was a streamer, so uh, I'm giving it a try. Um... Yeah, my grandfather was a streamer, and then his his son was a streamer. Like that's gonna be a real thing. Yeah. That, isn't that weird? <laughs> yeah, my daughter, she's she was uh, she's uh, eleven, the seventeenth this month, and she knows already how to uh, do Twitch jokes and all of that. <laughs> oh. oh my god. She she is the uh, what was the emo the fat one the hey fatty. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it was called. Now she's a natural. She comes in here to my room and she uh, she she knows how to work on the memes. <laughs> the okay fatty. Yeah. We should have found the clip where she, where she said, "What the hell, dad?" Dad, she never swears, but that was I was laughing my ass off from her reaction. She types uh, this. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birth. <laughs> <laughs> she could have. <laughs> she would be laughing with all of you, both you and Twitch chat, if she saw that emote right now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta teach her to be a streamer. Yeah. No, but she, the, you know, those kids today, they're they're more natural into this because they watch this shit from their small. And they're, they're literally, like, they're born into it pretty much. Like, <sighs> like when I was a kid, I like, around, like, 12 years old, like, I got, like, big into YouTube. And, like, YouTube was just so new. Everyone was just, like, not, like, bad at it, but it's not how it was today. No. But now, when kids are six and they're going on their phone and shit, like, it, they're just non-stop seeing stream clips and yeah like, you're so conditioned for it like entirely conditioned for it yeah Nuts. the only thing that was a bit worrying was uh, when i was in this birthday i've heard my daughter they have been she has been watching some clip of that guy i show speed you know him oh yeah oh, i like him uh, yeah but this isn't good for 11 year old or 10 year olds and no and and i'll Probably tell you not. I'll tell you this story, and I was—they didn't mention who they were talking about, but I'm pretty sure it was 
there, there was they were all these girls 11 years old were sitting around the table and one of them said like oh this guy in our class he's only using the n word and is barking all the time and i'm like hmm where did he get this from he's saying the n-word all the time and barking i'm wondering what the kind of streamers these guys have been watching <laughs> yeah, maybe she shouldn't watch i show speed until she's like <laughs> no they need to be a bit like, older uh, eight, 18 years old you can watch i show speed oh, yeah that's the house rules <laughs> you have to wait 18. <laughs> <laughs> Surely not from a streamer, and I, I just remember hearing a clip of uh, I Shall Speed barking, and they're <laughs> using the N word all the time. <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, that's his thing. Is he barks? Yeah. That's his main. That's his main thing. He's also fighting KSI. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if you know who KSI is. I know who KSI is. Yeah, he's. He's fighting them. I'm I actually, what's your opinion on those like boxing matches and stuff? I actually like watching those. I think even it though can like be... they're probably overhyped and stuff, like I still like them. I'll no, I, them. I'll tell you what I think, because what? when people, what people have to, they have to separate professional boxing and this kind of influencer boxing. And there's a lot of people that says, "Ah, oh, boxing is ruined." Blah blah blah. I don't think it is because. Oh, I don't think it's true. No, no. Obviously, this is for entertainment and entertainment only. You can't see it as professional boxing because the day when people are saying, oh, do you think Logan Paul can beat? Uh, and then they're mentioning like one of the best boxers. Obviously, if you're if you're saying something like that, you're stupid and you're ruining boxing because you need to separate those who are boxers and actually would just yeah. play around with these stupid influencers and the entertainment of watching two influencers do a boxing match. Well, that's why, like, the WWE and stuff was good, because there was, like, a separation from, like, the seriousness, and then, like, if you want, like, this weird fantasy where you want to see some actor fight another actor or whatever, but I don't know. I, I don't think it's bad. No. Personally, because I, it's just bringing more eyes to, like, the main sport, and even if they're not getting, like, a genuine version of the main sport, there's still going to be a percentage of people that become interested from it. And it overall is going to help the sport. I don't think like it's going to hurt the sport. More people watching a sport doesn't hurt the sport. More people watching so. a sport is always good for a sport. Yeah, I mean, literally. Like... And let's say, they're oh, they watched uh, KSI versus I show speed. And then, oh, they're suddenly opening up their eyes. And uh, let's look at a uh, boxing match between two people who actually are good at boxing. Then they're like, wow, <laughs> insane. Like well, exactly, because that's how the algorithm is anyways now. So if you like somebody like Logan Paul and you're getting a bunch of boxing stuff, all of a sudden you're going to be going through your TikTok and then you're going to get a Muhammad Ali thing. Yeah. And you're going to watch a Muhammad Ali boxing thing and you're going to hear some inspirational shit. And then you're going to go and you're going to start seeing this guy. And that's just literally how it is because it's just an algorithm. You're not going to see somebody you like see a boxing thing and not get recommended boxing. Like that's yeah. just not how the Internet works anymore. So sure. it's just always going to be beneficial. Yeah. I agree. So, yeah, the KSI speed thing apparently was clickbait. Okay. I actually, I thought that was real. I'm not gonna lie, and I kind of wanted to see that. But oh well. Yeah. Damn. And when he's 18. Now when he, I'm sure they might. It isn't that long too. <laughs> no, I, I think he's like turning 18 soon. But isn't KSI way way heavier? Probably. I don't know. I actually really don't know. I'm, I'm sure the speed kid has more to grow. He's literally only 17. He's probably got uh, a bit to go. So they would, it wouldn't be like a fair fight, but... No. <sighs> no, it was just funny. It was just funny because I watch speed. Like, I don't watch speed that much, but he's just funny. He's a yeah. character. He would just be funny in a ring. He'd yeah. fucking bark at him and shit. <laughs> Until he gets knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's more like a chihuahua. Yeah. Because I think KSI would beat him. <laughs> if he hasn't done oh, uh, boxing all uh, for years. No, 100%. No, KSI actually has some 
KSI has really good work ethic. Yeah. He actually, like, that guy has really good work ethic. <clears throat> so, no shot. I mean, I don't think, not saying Speed doesn't have the work ethic, but. But he's too young. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, like. Often it, it's it is. It's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of. The, and he has been doing it for a while. Yeah, and he has, like, you know, prof he goes to professionals and he has been doing it every day for who knows how fucking long now. Like, yeah. You can't beat experience in boxing, I think. Or if you haven't done it yourself, at least. We saw, did you see Haftor Bjørnsson, the st world's strongest man, versus another world's strongest man, Eddie Hall? Yeah, I, I did watch that. that uh, I I thought, like, in my head, when you hear that, you just think you're going to hear thunder punches and it's going to be the most... But I don't know, it was like... What did you think of that fight? It was so underwhelming to me, that fight. The so thing much, is, like... the thing is, up front, we had watched when they did training, we had watched, we had followed it, because I know Haftor myself, personally. So we watched it all. And uh, when we saw the training, it was pretty clear to me that this would be just a home run for Haftor. Easy, and I almost walk over. Because you, you watched both sides? You were watching, we're watching their YouTubes from when they were training, boxing, and everything. We watched both sides. Yeah, I was getting both sides too, actually. Yeah. Um, and Thor, I mean... <laughs> Thor he, is just on a different level, I mean... Yeah, but I, he I actually trained boxing. You saw that? He went in with a boxing trainer, he started out training technique, he worked on his cardio, he did what was necessary to actually do boxing. And yeah, he, I... The Eddie guy was going off of straight copium for a while, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, how tall is the Eddie guy? Hundred and ninety-four centimeters or something. I'm not. I'll, I'll Google. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Because I mean, Thor was. Hundred ninety-one centimeters. That is how much is that in uh, feet? Hundred seventy-one. Hundred ninety-one. Oh, he's six-three. Six or six two. Oh and no! Then... It's more than six two. One hundred ninety one, you said. Yeah. Yeah, centimeters. It says six two. Okay, that's six two. Six, six feet three. Something inches. Oh, it's six point two of a feet. Yeah. I mean, they're getting my ass. Yeah. They got my ass. But how? But Thor, I mean, how tall is? It's two hundred and six or two hundred four <laughs> centimeters. It's more than ten centimeters taller. He's, he's seven four. S seven four? Yeah, no, it's six nine. His next nine. Oh, and this is just wrong. This website. Uh, what? Oh yeah, it was. It literally is wrong. Yeah, six nine. Six nine. Uh. Zoil is a bit taller than Haftor. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know what I just read? I literally just read. You want to <laughs> read? I was on a website for Thor, like the comic book Thor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight foot ten. Wow. Yeah. Still though, I mean that's a big difference. I mean, just, there's no way Eddie actually thought, right? But, no, no, um, no, but uh, but point being that there was such a big difference. But uh, the the match itself, I predicted it to be uh, up front that in the beginning it might just be uh, Eddie trying to do some punishes, and we saw that he, because Haftor he went down from how many pounds? He was <coughs> at his heaviest. He was uh, two hundred and six kg to Eddie. He was 454 pounds. Yeah, I, I was just nervous that they were going to hurt each other because they're just so strong. And, like, even though you're so conditioned, when someone's so strong and you get punched somewhere, I mean, they just burst your fucking organs. Like, they're just so, they're literally just animals. Like, yeah. that was the only thing I was worried that they were just going to kill each other. <laughs> But I don't but, think they punch harder than guys like Mike Tyson did in his time, so... But you would think they would, though. But like, you about, would think... Remember, the, the punching power comes down to speed more than the, the strength. 
I didn't know that. Because uh, have the for just Google the formula for energy. How much energy? So getting hit. Oh, I guess. Well, so you're saying how fast you move your arm towards his face counts more than how um, uh, how strong it is when it first hits. How much you can push through. Because the impact will be higher. I didn't know that. I just assumed, like... I just thought of it like it was like a fucking cannonball, and you're just literally just someone oh, oh, swinging a fucking oh, of cannonball. Of course, it, it, it is... Uh, energy will be, like, the mass, the, the weight, times... Uh, is it uh, the, the speed the arm has? Time... Uh, yeah, E equals MC squared. Bro, I'm going to take a hit of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is fucking... You're literally Einstein. Yeah. My my trainer is Einstein. No, I'm not What's Einstein. What's the Pythagorean theorem? Go. What the... What's the Pythagorean theorem? I don't even know what that is. Pata. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. It's to get to the hypotenuse. Ah, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't hear the word. We say hypotenuse, uh, Pythagoras in Norwegian. Oh. Pythagoras. Uh, oh, we call it Pythagorean because the guy's name was Pythag. Wait, you guys call it different? It was his name. We might really? just pronounce it different. Oh. That... I know. Huh. It's to Wait, calculate. What was his, his uh, name was Pythagoras. His name was Pythagoras, I think. You guys actually say it by his real name. I think that's why. And then we say Pythagorean Theorem. Wait, I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Anyways, it was great talking to you, Canoe. Yeah. I'm sorry that I'm a dumbass. But, yeah. um... Uh, I appreciate everything. And, uh... Yeah, I'm glad to fucking do this again. You make yeah. me feel better. I'm excited for my cheat meal. Let's uh, let me calculate how much potatoes, and I'll just put it on the beside the steak meal, if you want to have it there to try out to switch the rice with a uh, normal potatoes for a meal. You can do it for both chicken and uh, rice meal if you no chicken and steak meal if you want to. Doesn't matter. Just try well, it can, out. Can we try it on the? Uh, can we do it on the beef meal and the breakfast? Because I'm a big fan of eggs and uh, potatoes. Do you want stuff. to have uh, eggs with potatoes instead of eggs and bread? I can calculate how much. I would love that, actually. I mean, I'll still go. It's not that I like. I won't like uh, completely do it differently, but it's like one day if I'm feeling whole grain. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just put it up. All right, cool. All right. Then well, I'll see you. Till next time. Till next time, I Jesse. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your stream. Good day. Thanks the same. Stay safe. Bye, chat. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Fuck, I like Jesse. He is a good dude. Yes. Prep cooking soon. We should do that. But I need to just go downstairs. I, I made some food for myself. Give me a second, boys. Funny guy, yeah. I really hope we can make this work over time. I want to see him get where he wants to.